Hi guys, welcome to Skyline Videos. In our series of inventor tutorials, today we will be seeing how to draw an involute care profile. Here I have shown it in 3D. So this, these are the dimensions. Pitch circle dimension is 30 mm. Base circle is 25.72 mm. Number of teeth is 18. So the pitch angle is 360 by 18 which is 20 degrees. So first we will draw two circles, one of the base circle dimension and one for the board of the board dimension. We will finish the sketch. The sketch is in the xy plane. Now we will extrude it to 8 mm that is the face width and we will use the symmetric extrude option so that it is equally extruded 4 mm on each side of the xy plane. Now we will sketch the involute care profile. We will select the xy plane again and we will construct a circle using the circle tool to the dimensions of the base circle. Now we will use the slice graphics option so that we can get a clear view of the xy plane. All the features in front of the xy plane are now hidden. We'll see how to construct the individual profile. So first we'll be drawing two lines, each of these lines will be at uh, 22.5 degrees from the vertical, the first line will be at 22.5 degrees from the vertical and the second line will be at 22.5 degrees from the first line. We will construct tangents to these lines. The length of the tangents are equal to the length of the arc subtended between the lines and the vertical line. So 5 and 10 are the dimensions that we have set. These are already calculated for this geometry. Now we will constrain these lines to the circular tangent using the constraint tool. So here we have three points, one point on the base circle where the vertical line touches the base circle and two points at the ends of the two tangents. So we are using the three point arc tool here. So here we have drawn one side of the involute profile. Now we will construct the pitch circle and the addendum circle. This we do so that we will be able to identify the center line of the profile and then mirror the geometry of this profile about the center line. So now we are making all of these lines construction lines so that they don't interfere when we extrude this profile. connect the point at which the curve meets the pitch circle at the center. And we draw one more radii to the pitch circle. To make this line the center line, we will have to uh, offset it at a particular angle. This angle is one fourth of the pitch angle. That is because the pitch angle is the angle between the centers of two involute profiles. So this uh, smaller angle will be one fourth of the pitch angle. Pitch angle is 360 by 18 which is 20 degrees. So that by 4 this angle is 5 degrees. And now that we have got the center line we mirror it 
the profile about the center line. Here we have finished mirroring the profile about the center line. And now we are completing the profile of the tooth. First the base circle and then the addendum circle using the curve. Now we will match using the arc tool. Now we are matching it the construction circle. Now the sketch of one tooth is complete. We will finish sketch and now we will extrude this sketch the face width of 8mm and use the same symmetric extrude option. So now you can see that one tooth has been done. Now we will fillet this first. Select all, the, all of the edges on the tooth. Using the fillet tool, we finish the giving the fillets. Now we will have to array this feature. And we array it about the z axis and we give the number of features as 18. Now we can see that the teeth have been arrayed and you can see the profile I will create the other features such as the other extrudes that we saw in the diagram this we are doing by creating a sketch on the xy plane and using the cut option We will give a depth of cut. Now, this feature has been created on one side of the gear. We will have to mirror it so that it is created on the other side of the gear too. So, now we click the mirror option and we select the feature and we select the mirror plane as the XY plane. Now, the feature has been created on both sides of the gear and we will fillet these new edges that have been created using the fillet tool. Set, set the fillet radius and then select the edges again on both sides of the gear. Now the basic geometry is done. I will show you how to select the material now. So we can select the material in the material drop box. We will give cast iron and we can set the color of the gear too. We are setting the color as red. So now I will show you some perspective options and view options go to view and we will select a realistic visual style and we will select the mode as perspective and you can give the shadow and the reflection options you can sele select them this completes the tutorial on involute gear profiles hope you found it interesting and useful Please do subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. Thank you for watching.